Hi guys, oh, welcome to another video. Today's a video we have a new skin tint. And yeah, yeah, I know I'm a foundation lover, skin tint lover, concealer lover. I'm just a makeup lover. Yeah, if you want to see my thoughts on this skin tint, how did they work for me, how I was able to achieve this look, then make sure you keep on watching. And don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe, and all of that. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. So, for the new Danessa Myrick Yummy Skin Serum skin tint <laughs> that was a whole lot got mine from sephora the day it launched i think and i have the shade number 12 it was 36 dollars, but i had like some sephora money that i used so i ended up you know getting the 10 dollars off or whatever so it says it's light coverage a radiant finish with collagen is vegan hydrating and fragrance free it comes in 16 shades which you know skin tints usually don't come in a large variety of shades because you're supposed to be able to use like one or two you know depending on your skin tone you should be able to use up to two different shades or whatever so it says a hydrating smoothing skincare infused skin tint that provides light coverage and a skin like radiant finish so if you're into light coverage then this would be ideal it depends on the day of the week what coverage i want um vegan collagen peptides visibly smooth skin texture and plumps five lines fine lines okay yeah okay this product includes 16 flexible shades that are optimized to address redness and uneven for all skin tones so let's get right into it i'm gonna prime of course who would i be if i did not prime my skin I'm going to use my YSL Blurring Primer today. I had someone um, make a comment on one of my older videos and was like, you should never use a primer when using um, skin tints because you're not getting the benefits of the skin tint. And I had to let them know that I'm going to use a primer. If you've been on my channel for the last, what, two years that I've been on YouTube, then you know that I use a primer with any and everything. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm always going to use a primer because I don't want whatever's in the foundation or skin tint to sink into my pores. I feel like my skin isn't protected if I don't use a primer. And so they were like, well, you're not getting the true, you don't need to purchase a uh, skin tint because you're not getting the true benefits. Okay, then let that just be me. Let that be my problem. <laughs> you know, I'm not here to force my way of doing makeup on anyone. So if you feel like what I do is not beneficial to you, then then by all means, then don't do it. And like I can take like constructive criticism, but when you say it like in a really nasty tone and like, oh, why would you do that? Then that becomes I'm gonna do it even more then because you're not gonna push what you do on me so this comes in a 1.58 fluid ounce fluid ounce so it's a little bit bigger than you know our normal foundation the packaging is absolutely beautiful you know i love brown okay so let's get to getting this hope number 12 is what it should be because I was in between 12 and 13. Let me swatch it on my hand. So I think we might be okay. It's very light coverage. That look like that could be my color, right? Like that's my go-to color for everything. And I got a Shop Miss A brush. And I also got a damp Car Beauty Spine. So we'll see. I'm going to just put it. I don't like to do that. Y'all know I don't like to do that. For whatever reason, that irritates me when I do that. I don't know why. I'm just crazy like that. Okay, so let's take a little bit. Let's go here with it. We're not expecting like full-blown 
full 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 coverage we're just looking for a very light look like a refreshed look you know and if you want it like I guess if you were looking for like more coverage you probably should like spot conceal first you know it's okay some people want more coverage but still want to use a lightweight foundation so you can spot conceal first you know just to cover any really dark areas you might have and then put on a skin tint your face will still be light i think let's get the other side so far so good and I got that mark right there. Y'all know that. So let's see what it do. It shouldn't do much because it's a lightweight. I'm doing nothing. Okay. It did enough, y'all. It covered it just a little bit. I think the shade is good. Okay, I feel good about the shade because I was unsure about it I feel it does feel wet on my skin like like it needs to set you know what I mean like I need to see because it says it's a radiant natural finish or whatever so I need to see what it dry down to but right now it's feeling wet so this is how we're looking <laughs> We're looking real wet and dewy natural everything is natural so let's wait a minute well no <sighs> I thought about it I don't know let's go ahead and do it when you do like a damp sponge with the skin tint I feel like it kind of takes some of the product away if you're not if it's if your sponge is like too damp so this one is in a has been on my desk forever so it's gonna dry down now because I wet it earlier. <laughs> That's how we looking from one layer. Yeah, I really see the luminosity right here. It's almost like I got on a highlight. Yeah, I know how I feel about highlighters. <laughs> I love playing the makeup. No smell. Okay, natural. Let's take some concealer because I still want to highlight. I still want to my face and not to be flat. I don't want a flat face. All right. Some people would argue that when you use skin tint, all you should use is skin tint. You shouldn't do anything else. But that's just not me. I like what I like. Just a dab. The inner part. we're not even gonna like bronze and contour and all that today we're just gonna make the face be as natural as we can get it we don't want to do too much we just want to use the skin tint some concealer a little bit of powder and get out the door so let's see what it does for us I wasn't a fan of the bomb by Danessa Myrick I wasn't a fan but only because I didn't like the texture of it. I felt like it was, I had the translucent one. And I just felt like it was like gritty, like sandpaper. The wear and everything was fine, but I couldn't take the texture of it, the feel of it on my face. So, yeah. I've been loving this cover, girl, True Blend Concealer. I'm telling you. Check out Amazon. I think it's like six or seven dollars on Amazon. I haven't seen it in like Ulta or anywhere. I've been loving this concealer is full coverage. It sits beautifully. It wears beautifully. 
and I love everything about it. Everything. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Okay. Let's go. Just go around the edges. Make sure the concealer isn't like making me look like a stop sign. Like bright. <laughs> Caution. Caution light. You know, I want to look highlighted. Don't want to look crazy with it. Okay. I'm going to take my Maybelline and Golden Caramel. To set this concealer. Mm, if I stop dancing, y'all, my videos will be over like really, really fast. But this is one of the days I'm not going to wear so I can sit down and like and not rush out the door. Like really just take my time to um to squeeze, swirl, tap onto face and blend in with your brush or fingertips. That was the directions. We didn't follow. We never do. We never do follow directions, don't we? Okay. Um, some of this brush, Legendary Berry, L'Oreal Infallible. Since we got a little, little pinky eye going on. Do a little pinky blush. Not too much. And I don't have any powder on my brush. Whatever is from whatever time the last time I used it is what I'll do. Okay, okay. I have a new lip product while we all um, add it. I got the House Labs lip liner and lip crayon in mahogany matte. <laughs> I wanted this when it came out, and I, when I was purchasing the foundation, I'm like, okay, of course it's a brown shade. There's nothing special about it, but I, I love this. I love this. See there. It's just different. It's just a different shade, and it's it's different. It's a brown. We're gonna show, I'm gonna show you what type of brown it is. So, what's well, creamy? It's not a lip liner, so you could put it all over. But I want it as a lip liner. Let's see if I can find a paint stick. Let's try this MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in Velvet Punch. I think I tried it one time before and it wasn't the right lip for the look I had. Oh no, I never tried it. I never tried it. <laughs> okay, you're okay. I like the Powder Kiss line from MAC. Cause it's almost like, like you blotch your lip or what? Oh, that's nice. Go on, Nana. 
like you blotch your lip, like it's not overwhelming. I guess that's how I like it. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yep. It's matte, but it's not like my lips are cracking matte. You know what I mean? And we're going to spray this face. And if you ever wondering like what shade I'm in, if you, if you like use me as a reference, if we're like shade twins and you're ever wondering like did I review this foundation or that foundation, I always have the foundation, my foundation playlist listed in the description box for you to check out. Uh, I can't even count how many videos I got. I can't even remember, but I'm pretty sure that I probably reviewed it. You know, I've been on YouTube for close to three years. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that I reviewed it. So always feel free to check out that foundation playlist in the description box as a reference. Okay guys, back and still up close. This is how the skin is looking. Very natural and it's raining today. So I don't have much light. It's been raining like all weekend. But anyway, so put my wig to the back so y'all can see but yeah very natural still can see some discoloration on my face on the marks I may have but it looks pretty to me it looks like skin it look makes your face look natural and at everyday wear you know because nobody realistically walks around with the full face of makeup just to say if you go into the grocery store like you don't want to throw on like a really heavy foundation heavy concealer heavy powder just to run and go pick up a pack of grits you know what I mean so yeah this is it's nice and well you know that I know if if you watch my channel a lot then you know that I enjoy radiant natural looking makeup and if I want to like jazz it up then I'll add extra concealer bronzer stuff like this but it's nice i wasn't expecting it i'll be honest only because i didn't like the balm so much so i was like i'm not really gonna like it you know what i mean but i like it it's nice <laughs> it's nice i'm gonna have to compare it to the new uh maybelline superstay skin tint that i purchased because both of them are giving me like radiant looks or whatever. And this was $8 where the Danessa Myritz is $36. But her makeup, of course, is formulated for darker skin tones. So that's a bonus bonus for shopping with Danessa Myritz is, you know, is formulated toward, you know, um, dark skin tone. So we know that it's going to work for us. Yeah. But this is how it's looking, guys. Drop down and let me know if you purchased it, if you plan on purchasing it. I don't feel anything on my skin. It's like I don't have on any makeup. <laughs> I don't have on any makeup, no smell. And as you can see, I didn't even put my um, paint pot in my smile lines. Only because the coverage is so light. Like nothing should settle in my smile lines because it's almost like I don't have on anything. I have on something, but I don't have on something. If you get my drift, yeah. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you share, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next video because they come in every day. Bye, guys.